Well, DC here, hi guys and gals. Well, I am actually going to do this tag in the train. Yeah, I'm in the train uh, from Lausanne to Fribourg. Ah, I just got off the ophthalmologist. Yuck. Anyway, but I'm not here to vlog, I'm here to do the tag. So it's Dave's, uh, Dave Nicholson's uh, Saturday's seven question tag. So, okay, let's see how it goes. So, let me see. As we're going along. Uh, when you were a kid, question one, when you were a kid, was there an object that you wanted so much, but your parents could not afford it? What did I want more than anything as a kid? You know, I don't think I had anything that, um, the things I asked for or wanted were reasonable things. When I was slightly older, I don't know, that doesn't count like a kid, I would have liked to have had a, a scooter, but that would not have been in my parents' range anyway. Um, You know something? I don't think so. I think the things that I asked for, uh, well, like for example, I asked for, uh, oh, somebody else could probably check my ticket just a minute. Um, I think the things I asked for were things like uh, a tape recorder, a cassette tape recorder, but I was already older when that happened. Um, otherwise, uh, no, actually the question to that, I can't really say. <laughs> uh, Dave Nicholson did say something made me smile. He said it was a Meccano set, and we had one of those, but I often say it was my dad's more than ours. He really liked it. Um, yeah, okay. Question two. What inspirational quote was most life-changing for you? Gee, these are hard questions. Um, when I did buy a black for Mrs. DC uh, that said, it was in French, but it said that um, great love comes with great dreams, something like that. And I'd given it to her, and uh, it was kind of like our motto, um, you know, that we, like I say, we, we met as, as teenagers and are still together, so it was kind of, kind of that, I guess. Hmm. Question three, what was your most horrifying experience? I think maybe when I was um, in the Montreal subway system called the Metro and was um, uh, held by somebody with a pointy object and uh, didn't want us to leave. I was with Mrs. DC, we had gone to a play or a show or something and we were going back to where she lived. And um, we jumped out eventually, he looked somewhere else and we jumped out of the Metro and the doors closed on him. Yeah, that was pretty scary. Question four, what event in the past do you wish that you could go back to? Holding my first child after his birth. Yeah, that's something, yeah. Ah, now let's see. Question five. What situation do you wish to change in your life? Right now. Uh, maybe a few health issues. Um, got some problems with my eyes or... Uh, um, like probably many but people, especially retired people, a bit more money, but I'm still not, you know, that bad off. By the way, just have a look over there. That's Lake Geneva. Uh, yeah, not much really, actually. Um, question six. Do you believe in reincarnation? That's a flat no. Doesn't go with my faith nor worldview, so no. Um, and then already up to question seven. This is going to be a quick tag, even though I'm in the train. For some reason, we're stopping. 
Uh, who is the person that you immediately turn to when you're in trouble or when you just need someone by your side? My wife. Yeah, this is DC, my kids, my family. Um, yeah. You know something? This is a. I thought it was going to be a difficult tag, but uh, finally, uh, the questions are pretty straightforward. So here I am in the train, and uh, it's stopping. I don't know what's going on. Okay, that's it. Okay, in the train and a tag. DC signing off. Take care, everybody, and hope you have a good week.